Hello everyone, welcome to my cross stitch haul, not haul, cross stitch whip update. I haven't done a whip update since I think it was August. So I started this new new start and I had only had the dress part done, the green part. And now this is how far I am. I still have a apple over here to do and I gotta do the red in her hair band and then I missed some spots in her collar and then I gotta do all the, the back stitching so that's pretty far on that one that's the gorgeous girl from the world of cross stitching magazine and then this is a whip that I haven't worked on this last year but I really want to get this is one of the ones I want to get done in 2015 because I want to get the ones that I've not been working on done. I think you guys call them UFOs, Unfinished Projects. This is the Daisy, of course. <clears throat> the one I spent most of last year on was this one. This is the River Road Doorway by Ursula Michaels. And I'm doing this out of a 1999 cross-stitch needlework magazine. And it's a lot farther than I had been. I've, I'm have i not really a good person with confetti, so I don't know if I would like a heaven and earth design. Even though I really enjoy looking at the heaven and earth design cross stitches, I'm too afraid because of the, how I get stalled in the confetti that I might not want to do that. So those are my main ones. I have another one in this box right here. That is a um, lighthouse. I don't think I got any farther than the last time. I want to maybe grid this. I've never gridded before, so I'm going to try to grid this and see if I can get back in. I think I'm off a little bit over here. So I think that was a creative, gosh, creative, I don't remember what the brand was called, creative something. And it was a kit that I got. So those are the main ones I've been working on. And I thought that in 2015 I would do some more and try to finish those up and then do ones that are a little bit more easy for me. More blocks of color. So I pulled out some of my old magazines. And oops. I thought I would try this one. It's called Scandinavian Tree. And it has a squirrel and an owl and a duck. And I told, showed my dad this. He thought that this tail looked like a seahorse. <laughs> so this is one I, I want to try. It's all one color. So I thought that would be kind of like what you guys call a palette cleanser between finishing projects. And then <clears throat> I am... Um, I always saw these um, heritage crafts, these um, elegant ladies. They have the elegant ladies, different the series, and I thought, oh, that'd be really interesting to do one of those. They're really pretty, and I found this in my stash of stuff. I didn't even know I had it, and it's a a free chart that came from heritage crafts, and it's this lady right here. It's really, and it's really simple. It looks, looks a lot. I could be a quick one, which I'm looking for some quick finishes so I can, you know, you get some satisfaction out of doing a quick, quick finish. So this would be a quick finish. And then I, I really like London. <clears throat> so I found in this magazine right here, I can't show you the chart because it doesn't have a bigger picture, but there's this picture of, of London. That's it. That's about. That's this whole spread like this. It's the whole spread in there, but they only show you this little snippet for the actual picture. I thought about doing that one, and then on the cross stitch gold, it has this lady right here, and it's just London. And I thought that and it has Big Ben. That's my favorite right there, Big Ben. 
I thought I would thought about doing that one. And then I also saw this one. Oops. And this is London too. And this is a lot bigger than the other one, the pattern. I really like this one. So I thought about doing one of those as one of my bigger projects. <clears throat> and then I saw a couple of birds that I would like to do. On the January 2012, there was this cardinal that I thought was really pretty. So I really went, I wanna just try to pick some of these that I already have in my stash. And that my one this is from Just Cross Stitch 2011. It's a bird cardinal and another bird over here. It's called Red Birds. So those are the projects I would like to work on. What projects have you guys been working on? I know I haven't really posted any videos about my cross stitching in a long time, but I'm trying to get back into the flow. I, I kind of had a, a drought, cross stitching drought period because I was reading a lot during that time. So that's my haul, not my haul, my whips, and my what I want to do in 2015 if I can get to them. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.